What's up, bros? Johnny here from John's Motorsports. Johns is me now. We do quite a bit of diagnostics here. This is a, an O2 Avalanche with a tranny swap. The old transmission was uh, was a full bar. So this guy got a new tranny, put it in the truck, and uh, things stays in first gear. So uh, what we're doing here, we're just doing a diagnostic of um, the one two shift solenoid, the two three shift solenoid. See what's going on. I've got the uh, the scope on the. Um, you see why I see if you can see that we got two voltages there and normally uh, <clears throat> for the uh, solenoids to turn on they're grounded so pretty much got zero volts right there so they're grounded they're supposed to be on according to the solenoid right here the scanner let me zoom out as you can see here they're both on so that, that's what you want to have and what you want is as soon as the truck's in gear and it starts to run. What you want is when it commands that solenoid off, you want to see a voltage on off. So see, I'm off there and I got a voltage right on that one too. When it commands it on, it should ground it. So now as you can see, it's off right here. So you can see that right there, it's, it's commanded off. So we got a voltage. Once it's on, put it off the throttle. That right there should ground again. So now it just commanded it on. There's my zero. So that tells me that you know, the electronics on this is fine. I mean, the truck has got no check engines. And what's happening is the ECU is commanding the solenoids on or off, and the truck isn't shifting. It's staying in first. Because this thing's got an issue with the transmission and it's not electronic. The other thing I'm going to do now is the truck is running. There's a couple other things you guys can look at. First things first is seeing what mile per hour you are. You want to have the OSS stuff working. Output speed sensor is doing its thing. Let's see if you guys can see that. The TPS had an issue on this truck, but now it's fine. So out output speed is, is correct. You want to look at the gearing too. Come right here, estimated gear ratio is fine. And as you go down and you want to see that switching, what you want to see here is this switch right here. See, this is Ford, which means the truck is in, in drive. If I switch that out and I put the, car, the truck in the third, it should show me drive third. So it shows me drive third, drive second, first should show up there it is so right away I know that it's doing what it's supposed to do it's commanding the, the tranny properly and as you can see I've been driving now again we'll do it again you can see those voltages there should shift and should change see I got my voltage right there because it turned off the one two solenoid so I got a voltage I get off the thing isn't shifting so this thing's got an issue in the valve body or it's got an issue somewhere. I don't know, solenoids, I doubt both solenoids are finished. So that's the first thing. Now the second thing I'm going to do to check and see whether or not this thing's got a, um, a short to ground of those two wires coming out of the EC one of the tranny. I'm going to disconnect the, um, the connector at the computer. Okay. And by disconnecting the, uh, the connector at the computer, what we're doing is computer can't ground so if it doesn't ground I should have two volts two, two voltages right on the on the scan on the uh, on the vantage here on the scope and these both should have voltage so right now as you can see there and I've got one on because the key is on if I turn the key off it should have zero oh, I'm not in park uh, I'm not in park that's right in park I should have zero so it's doing what it's supposed to see that zero zero you guys can see that so right away that tells me that the tranny guy didn't do his thing. I'm going to disconnect the ECU now from its harness and I should see 13 and 13 or 12 volts, 12 volts on both those wires. I'll show you quick quick what, I talk, what I'm talking about when I say I probe the wire. You see right here, I got the ECU disconnected here and I'm on the uh, 
the yellow being the uh, two three, and the light green being the one two. And I'm just connected here with the power probes. I have my own little uh, setup here to uh, to get those voltages. So I'm going to disconnect this this entire the red side here. I'm going to disconnect it. Once it's disconnected, I should see 13, 12 volts on each of those uh, on each of these wires. And that will confirm to me that there's no short to ground on those two wires. And it's not a wiring issue. It's an actual tranny issue. Because the tranny guy says it isn't him. But I'm pretty sure it is.